My name's Ricky Cronin. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Andy's older brother. Probably wasn't always easy being my little brother, but I, but I think Andy turned out all right, so you're welcome. <laughs> now, when we were hearing David uh, preside over the ceremony this morning, he mentioned a few attributes. Those three things were friendship, adventure, and selflessness. And I can say from knowing Andy for 32, almost 33 years, he embodies the, all three of those things. It's been a lot of fun to watch Andy grow up and mature as a man. I'm amazed by what he's accomplished. And even though I may be the older brother, I admire and look up to you in a lot of ways. You've always been there for me and it's an honor for me to be here for you today. Olivia, you're stunning today uh, and always and you fit in our family so well. You're an answer to many prayers, and you make my brother happier than I've ever seen him. I'm Madeline, I'm the younger sister of Olivia. Between Olivia and I, we have almost a seven year age gap. So we were always at two completely different stages of life. I was having braces, really weird bangs. <laughs> And Olivia was gorgeous, was perfect. It was so frustrating. <laughs> but when I was in elementary school, we had a bring your superhero today, um, day to school, and I invited Olivia to come with me. She dressed up as Superwoman, but she could just come as herself. But my friends thought I had the coolest sister ever, so she really helped my social status that day. <laughs> but she paved the way for my brothers and I to be just like her, which is brave makes big choices, goals, and she sets them and accomplishes each and every one of them. But if we fast forward a few years ago, when my family and I met up for dinner, some random guy with a man bun showed up. <laughs> but it turned out to be Andy. <laughs> As I got to know you and got to know the love that y'all shared, I realized that he's sticking around for a long time. That I really couldn't be more happy about it. I love you both so much, and I'm so happy to be a part of this journey and for all of you all to be here today.
Thank you everyone for coming and welcome. We're here to celebrate the marriage between Olivia and Andy and offer our support and love as they begin this journey as a married couple. So the, I wanted to tell you all about the first time that I met Andy and why, I, why I'm officiating today. So I'm Olivia's younger brother, David Rasco, and first time I met Andy, we were all getting dinner at Oasis and Andy showed up and he was wearing his sunglasses. He was in the process of growing out a man bun. <laughs> and I thought, wow, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then I got to know them and I, I saw how Olivia and Andy interacted with each other. I mean, constantly made each other laugh. They always had plans. They were always telling us about the things that they did and the things they were going to do. And it was so indicative of what's going to come. So I'm very excited for both of you today. Olivia and Andy just talked to me last weekend when we were watching Game of Thrones about the, the three themes that are really important to their relationship. So the first is friendship. Every relationship needs to be founded on trust and friendship. These are the essential building blocks to ensure a successful relationship in any walk in life. And it's obvious that Olivia and Andy are best friends. They support each other. Like when Olivia had to confront Louisianians at a John Mayer concert, Andy was standing there by her side. Or when Olivia didn't follow instructions and almost died bungee jumping, Andy was there to consult her afterwards. They enjoy learning from one another. They enjoy experiencing the best things in life with each other. And just like best friends, at times you'll disagree, sometimes very vigorously, but you'll always come back to being best friends and the rock that each of you can count on. So the, thec so the second theme is adventure. And um, anyone that knows Andy and Olivia knows they both like to adventure. So from the beginning of your relationship, you've done everything to make sure it is filled with adventure. From your third date when you went to Big Ben, can you imagine on your third date, some guy asks you, let's drive way out into the wilderness where no one can hear you scream. <laughs> I mean, what were you thinking? I'm, I don't know. What, whatever it was, I'm glad you thought it because it brought us here today. <laughs> And since then, you've traveled across the country to numerous cities and you've traveled across the world as well. From Charleston, South Carolina, where you may or may not have seen a ghost, to skydiving in Canada, South America, traveling to Mexico, and soon checking off four more countries. Which if you haven't donated to that trip, it's not too late. Oh and you need help, just come find me, I'll help you. Going forward, work hard to keep the adventure alive. It will keep both of you young and it will energize you for the slog of the boring work days that are to come. Never settle for less, and always push each other to be more adventurous than the day before. The last theme, and as Andy and Olivia correctly identified, the most important one of them all is selflessness. Marriage is going to be a constant struggle. I honestly don't know why you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a struggle between things you want to do and things that you need to do. And you need to rely on each other and trust that throughout everything, there's always someone behind you that is supporting you and that has their interests in front of their own. If both of you live for each other in everything that you do, as you've done so far, then you'll always know that someone is looking out for you and you'll never be alone. It will be hard. Like I said, this is the most challenging of themes and that's what makes it valuable. When you look at each other, always think, what can I do to make the other person's life easier? And as your family grows, it'll be easy for things to become priorities. Work, kids, family, but don't let that distract you from the person in front of you. That's the most important thing in your life. And as long as you remember that, you're going to have a great relationship. If there are any objections, you can exit to the left. <laughs> <laughs> can you please present the rings? Andy, please place the ring on Olivia's finger. Do you, Andrew Cronin, take Olivia Rasco to be your wedded wife, to have and hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish, till death do you part? I do. Olivia, please place the ring on, ring on Andy's finger. <laughs> <laughs> This wasn't planned. <laughs> oh, here it is. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> so typical. All right, let's try this again. All right. <laughs> 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 I'm nervous. It doesn't count if you do it that way. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right. <laughs> Do you, Olivia Rasco, take Andy Cronin to be your wedded husband, to have and hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish till death do you part. <laughs> it is my pleasure to be the first to introduce you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're not doing that yet. <laughs> the reading of the vowels. <laughs> uh, I promise to always keep you first. I promise to do everything I can to make every day of your life as full and joyful as possible. When we first met, I never could have imagined spending the rest of my life with you, and, and now I can't even think about what my life would be like without you. You're my best friend, you're my biggest supporter, and truly, you are the love of my life. Uh, I promise that I'll always do what I can to take care of you, and I promise that I'll always support you. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. Where you are is where I want to be. I'll always love you, always. Andy, from the moment I met you, I knew I had found a kindred spirit, but also a spirit who is unlike anyone else I knew in my life. The fearlessness that you have within you to live life to the fullest immediately shined through to me. Even though I like to plan my life out down to the hour sometimes, you are the most unplanned and unexpected thing that has ever happened to me. And for that, I am so thankful. Now, I cannot picture a single second of my life without you in it. The thought of it shatters me. You are my adrenaline rush that I promise to always keep chasing, and you are my sun and stars that I always promise to keep following. You don't settle for the status quo, and you color outside of the lines. I fell in love with you because of this, and I promise to encourage you to continue living this way. You cherish people, cultures, places, and experiences more than the materials and small opinions of this world. These are things I promise to keep learning and exploring with you, and one day together we will teach to our children. I promise to show you and our future family unwavering and fearless love for the rest of my life. Even on the hard days with kids and hopefully dogs driving us crazy, and on the quiet days with just you and me and our squirrels in our yard to keep us company. Thank you for always showing me this type of love. Lastly, I promise to actually watch every episode of Parks and Recs with you very soon. <laughs> You are my best friend, role model, and most importantly, my partner in this insanely beautiful thing that we call life. I love you, and I promise to love you until my last day on earth and beyond. It is my great pleasure <laughs> to announce Mr. and Miss Cronin, you may now kiss your bride. Yes, sir.
part of this whole experience that was really surreal and, and really rewarding was actually making the list of you know who in our lives do we want with us and 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 who is who are the most important people to us we, we really appreciate you guys being here and, and always being supportive and uh thanks we'll, we'll get back to, to dancing now appreciate it